Thanks, Mark. Well, we're tracking some thunderstorms off to the north of San Angelo right now. Once again, let's take a live look at downtown San Angelo. You see some of that lightning off in the distance here. Quite the light show north and northeast of San Angelo ongoing right now. So uh, north of town, we haven't had anything in San Angelo as of yet. That's going to change during the overnight period. 80 degrees right now in San Angelo. Feels like 82. Dew point sitting at 66. It's warm, it's humid, lots of fuel for these thunderstorms. It's only 60 degrees in Abilene with a dew point down to 58 because of that heavy rainfall ongoing. Tornado watch for everybody here, including both Abilene and San Angelo. That lasts until 11 p.m. New severe thunderstorm watch off to our northeast. That lasts during the overnight period. Or, uh, this may be extended, though, later on in the uh, overnight period, but we'll watch that carefully over the next uh, several hours. Let's take a live look right now at the radar. More moisture moving on in from the southeast out of the Gulf of Mexico. It's humid out there, quiet though, from San Angelo, Brady to Junction, down along Interstate 10. No concerns as of yet, but we're going to see more development during the overnight period. But let's take you into this uh, severe thunderstorm warning right now. Uh, in effect for uh, moving out of Coke County, Nolan County, Runnels County, Northern Runnels County here, and Southern Taylor County until 10:15 p.m. Quite the storm. This was the cell that produced that tornado in Sterling County earlier this evening. It's now a wind and a hail threat with this storm. Uh, golf ball size, possibly up to a tennis ball size hail headed into Wilmeth here. This is pushing eastward towards Route 83 towards winter. So if you're in winter's interior room away from windows, hail storm inbound over the next 15 minutes. Further off to the north, a new severe thunderstorm warning in effect until 10:15 p.m. for Shackleford County. That includes Albany and Acampo here watching some hail with this as well. This has come down a little bit in the last few scans. There's some good news, some pea-sized hail possible with this. Bigger threat is going to be that heavy rainfall and uh, that dangerous lightning as well. So the next few hours, storms along Interstate 20. Then this boundary starts to develop here. That's moving towards San Angelo. More storms are going to develop during the overnight period. This is 1 a.m. You're seeing that line of storms developing. That includes us here in San Angelo. And during the overnight period, just more storms developing. Heavy rain threats during the overnight period into your early Tuesday. This is your Tuesday morning commute. It's messy across West Texas. Say it lightly. Best of us are going to be down along Interstate 10. That's where it's going to be mainly dry. Some shower activity. Most of us are going to be dealing with heavy rainfall. Flooding is going to be a big concern for your Tuesday morning commute and some isolated rain showers into the early afternoon hours as well. Most of the activity pushing on off to the southeast, partly to mostly cloudy tomorrow afternoon before a marginal risk of severe weather on in the evening. More on that in just a second. Flood safety tips for tomorrow morning. I'll step out of the frame for just a second. Turn around, don't drown. We say that a lot. Move to higher ground. Do not park or camp near any streams, rivers, or creeks. Don't go around any traffic barricades put up because of flood waters. Leave your belongings where they are and never walk through moving water. Just a few inches of water can knock you off your feet and also uh, cause your car to float away as well. So you don't want that. Highs tomorrow thanks to rain in the morning. Cooler off to the northeast, only making it into the low to mid 70s. 80s because we dry things out by the uh, mid-afternoon hours for the Concho Valley for your day tomorrow. Once again, tomorrow evening, marginal risk. Lower threat of severe weather. We'll watch for an isolated shower or storm to turn severe tomorrow evening across West Texas. That's not it. We continue with those storm chances throughout the week, although a little bit less active towards the end of the week. So tomorrow flooding possible. 100% of us are going to get rain. We haven't seen anything in San Angelo yet. That will change during the overnight period. Moderate to heavy rainfall is likely flooding will occur in those low lying areas. And we continue with that threat throughout the week. Best chance of a dry day is going to be on Thursday with temperatures in the low 80s. Otherwise, it's active. Not going to be a washout any of those days, but hit and miss showers and storms continue to be in the forecast. Much more coming up after the break.